Hey everyone, let's start off with a joke. Keir Starmer goes to a pub and asks for a whiskey and the bartender hands him a scotch in the rocks. And Keir says, I didn't ask for ice in it. And the bartender says, neither did those dead pensioners. It also reminds me of a joke where Gordon Ramsay goes into a pub, orders a drink, demands to see the manager and asks him if the ice cubes are fresh or frozen. But anyway, in the news this week, there was the aftermath of the Israel attack on Hezbollah. And you've got to almost feel sorry for the blokes interviewing for the vacancies in the leadership positions. You know, by definition, they were considered so irrelevant that Israel didn't include any of them in the 2000 or so people they targeted the other week. Alex Salmond also just passed away. And in all honesty, when I saw the headline, I thought it was meant to say dead drunk. I increasingly wonder whether there should be one of those Henry VIII style rhymes to help you remember whether Scottish political leaders died, got arrested or survived. There was also a quite astonishing pair of headlines in the Telegraph this morning. One of them is about R. Kelly's daughter accusing him of abusing her as a child. And next to it is one where Meghan Markle is explaining how she was the most bullied girl in all the world. In fact, no, not just girl, quote, one of the most bullied people. So presumably even the boys had it better than old Meghan. And by definition, that would include all the ones held captive by Diddy, which is another story for another day, I guess. And there's also been a terrible pair of hurricanes, first in the Carolinas and then more recently Florida. And with a fear of looting, Florida passed a new gun law granting extended concealed carry laws in the event of a state of emergencies. Uh, those state of emergencies include hurricanes, earthquakes and living in Florida. This is all followed up by a word salad interview from Kamala Harris on the show 60 Minutes, which is quite telling in so much as even the legacy media, the left voting ones, are starting to turn on her incompetence and especially her claim to be defending democracy after overriding the vote, not letting primary voters get a say in her candidacy and then using legal action to tilt the balance of power in various electoral races. Then an aged and fairly haggard looking Barack Obama was forcibly trotted out to tell all the young black men to do as they're told and vote for the mixed race lady. And there was a fairly viral and blistering response from one of them who then went on to explain that the patronising attitude is exactly why him and all his friends are voting for Donald Trump. You know, he's the candidate who favours reducing inflation over the circus that is gender and identity politics today. Talking of which, I've got a friend who just let me know he's going on a date with a girl who self-identifies as a wheelie bin. So I hope he remembers to take her out on Thursday evening. Anyway, see you next week. Follow these clicks, subscribe. Bye.